All right. The court is now in session. I kindly ask that Mr. Wilson to come up to the jury's table and bring me the evidence of these child abuses. Here you go, sir. All the evidence that you need is right here on this file. Thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. You may go back and take a seat. Thank you, sir. All right. Elena, Cole and Soldad Marquez, you are all being charged with the following charges criminal harassment, disturbing the peace at many public places. Attempt of murder, battery, assault, false reporting, arson, cannibalism, stealing, destruction of private property, child neglect, child abusing your daughter 24-7. And worst of all you were about to give your daughter an 8th punishment day, luckily. The police were able to stop you. What do you all have to say to yourselves? Your Honor, all of that is not true. We have never done any of those things. Yeah. And even if we did, they would have every right to all those things, because it's a good de service for making our lives a living in. I agree. Si always did us point that punishment is a remand to discipline our kids to never commit crimes, where it was necessary. Okay, I have hard enough, I'm getting sick and tired of you being taken to court only to lie to me, so you know what? You three have now lost your will to speak, we have a lot of evidence, proving that you three caused more than enough trouble to your daughter, so how do you all plead? Not guilty your honor. I agree with my daughter, not guilty. Saying here, make that rest for me. Are you freaking kidding me right now? All this evidence, and yet, you three pled not guilty? Well, let's just see what our victim have to say about this. I called Teo and Diego Marquez up to the stand. Diego and Teo, oh boy we're glad to see you. Yeah. Help us make us innocent, let's get out of here, look on the bright side Elena, everyone might probably not plead us guilty from our actions. My way to ill who's the best lap on the worst. You're probably right guys, there's at least one right side to look on. Oh. Don't you get any ideas you child abusers, we're not here to save you this time. What? What? What did you just say? You heard my dad right you bimbo. We're not here to save you, we're the official police of this country. Me and my son are going to be watching over Dora's nemesis, to make sure they behave themselves. Who we? How do you? Is what we're with a family? Family? Family you say? Huh? Why and how would we want to be a part of your family with some big time criminals like all of you? But you guys join the League of Punishment Days, we got you everything you wanted. Huh? Oh. You mean your stupid illegal punishment days who abuses Dora for no reason? Yeah! We weren't a part of your stupid team to begin with. In fact, we were simply using you all the entire time to find ourselves a new job after my grandpa's death. Julian, you were only in old age so that why you just can't find a new job for yourself. Yeah. Even after all of those things who rightfully did to Dora and her friends? I only did those things to Dora, because I thought she was just a troublemaker, and besides, I realized that she had autism and disability. You never show her any attention, every time when my niece is trying to be nice to you, you have to be all aggressive, and get angry over minor mistakes. My dad has a right point, if you wouldn't had abused her, or be harsh, she would never have been acting like a troublemaker, so, it's all your faults. No! That's not true at all, Dora and her friends love to cause trouble for no reason, and they should all be put in jail. He agree with my daughter, Dora went to meet all of our friends against us, and they all prank at us so Adam humiliated at us all over the internet. As a matter of fact, Dora and her friends would be... Shut up. Right now. That is enough of all of you talking back about Dora her friends, and the quote unquote traitors, who choose not to be child abusers anymore. And that prank that Dora and her new friends did you, we're actually glad you'll feel humiliated, because you all deserved it. If none of you have been bullying Dora, and abusing her for her whole life, including her friends, maybe she wouldn't have been pushed to pull that ultimate prank. So yeah. If I could be honest, you child abusers chicken brought this all on yourselves, now. You are all going to shut up and stay in court until you go to prison. Me and my dad plead those criminals guilty. No! We're doomed for. Please. Diego and Teo, you're better than this. 
don't work for these weeks, we can work this out. Fat chance, Alina. All of you are better off being in jail or executed after the court hearing. It depends on what the judge decides of your consequences. Good day. Thank you for your time. I now call Phillips up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. Dora's parents are one of the worst parents that everybody can ask for. In the basement, her parents kept her dead body in the basement. Are you freaking kidding me? This isn't funny and it's not cool. Torturing your daughter is not disciplining. It is more like murder. Who even keeps someone's dead body in the basement? It is disgusting. I'm shocked that nobody discovered the dark truth about you guys until now. I declare these people are guilty. That's all I have to say. Thank you for your time. I would like to call Crystal up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. On her sixth punishment day, you made her watch Friday the 13th and other scary movies. It's her own decision if she wants to watch those movies, not yours. You burned down all of her Halloween candies which is arson, but you were lucky that your house was not even burned down, but it's very dangerous. Cole and Soul Dad, I saw you guys throw syringes on Dora's eyes. Syringes are frequently used in clinical medicine to administer injections, infuse intravenous therapy into the bloodstream, apply compounds such as glue or lubricant. What is the matter with you people? Syringe aren't meant for your eyes. Now that's what I called fake discipline. Who even came up with the ideas of punishment days in the first place? I wish that punishment days would be banned forever. Next, you even used a lawnmower on Dora. Are you colorblind or what? Lawnmowers are machines used to cut grass. They are not meant to kill people. Finally, the worst part, you forced Dora to ride on a roller coaster without a seat belt, and even if she refused, you would dismember her body. But it became way more worse. There were chainsaws in the tunnel. She couldn't have got killed because of you. Do you know what happens if you don't put a seat belt on a roller coaster? She would fall to her death. So I plead all of you guilty. That's all I have to say, Your Honor. Thank you. I call Kalu up to the stand. Kalu? Is that really you? Of course it is. I'm glad that you're back. Wow. I knew it that you were here. Well, well, at last, I'm ready to get karma for what you have done to my friend. Kalu, you live? But I thought you were dead from your birthday punishment day. What happened to your parents? Well, Ellen, Jaco, and Soldan Marquez, that was a little while ago. I'm not really dead, because Koanim of Logic revived me when I got killed. You even took me way too far, and even though I'm the most annoying cartoon character on my Caillou and my friend show, it doesn't mean you have to take me and my friend way too seriously. You guys always treat my parents like a royal family and a king all the time. I'm getting sick and tired of getting stupid punishment days, whenever me and my friend wanted to do something fun. So Elena, Cole, and Soldan Marquez, known as the strict parents. So I hope you lose custody to my friend, and she will never get punishment days ever again. I don't want to see your child abuser's face again. Doris and Doris, what can I even do without you? We were such a good team of giving my daughter a punishment day. Well, it doesn't even matter. He can save you for all the torture you have done to my friend and me. You are all guilty. And Dora, after your parents' trial, you'll be coming to live with my foster family. We can have peace without them. Will do. You can lead the way after the trial. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. I must take a seat. Thank you, Kalu. Now, Dora, is there anything that you would like to say about your abusive parents? Yeah. Kalu is right. You guys are the worst parents ever. Mom, you're the worst mother that any mother could ever ask for. There's always something wrong with you. Everything I do to you, you always have to ruin everything. You always have to follow me everywhere I go. Whenever I'm just trying to enjoy my games, you always force me to play other games. I can't enjoy watching my own show. You always threaten me to give me a punishment day. You even blame me because you thought I was responsible of bringing my reboot show when it's not true and it wasn't my fault. I never meant for this to happen, but she got aggressive over something that isn't a big deal and ending my misery with a gun. Just stop it right now. It's not cool. It's not funny. It's dumb. And every time I want to do something I want to do, you have to false report the cops. 
even when I do nothing wrong to you. And it's not fair. It's not fair at all. But Dora, we only want what's best for you. We wanted you to be perfect. We don't want you to end up becoming a bad person in the future. Perfect? You wanted me to be perfect? Is that your best excuse? Nobody is bloody perfect in this world. I'm so done with this family. I'm telling the Mexican army to get all of my stuff from Go City. Don't you remember what she did to me at the pumpkin patch? You admitted everything that you have done to me. When I got revived with Konamate logic, you come back to abusing me, see that? That's exactly what I'm talking about. You always have to lie and feel sorry for yourself. If you never left me, then you couldn't have put me in adoption or abortion. Why would you even let me live in your house in the first place? So I plead all of you guilty. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Dora. I would like to call Johnson up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. Elena, Colin so died, Marquez. I heard everything about you. When I saw her fifth Punishment Day video, you forced Dora to eat a flower pot. Are you sick in the head? Flower pots are not edible, which can lead to poisoning or serious injury. It will cause intoxicating effects that last longer than expected, depending on the amount ingested, the last food eaten, and medications or alcohol used at the same time. Not to mention that you put Dora in the toilet. How could a human size fit in a toilet? It's impossible and nobody else can do it. It was very disgusting. Let's not forget that you cut Dora eyes off with a knife, and people can't see without their eyes. This is how the best you can discipline a kid. It's just murder. I saw that you dismember her hair with a chainsaw. Chainsaws are not meant to cut hair. We use chainsaws to cut down trees. We don't use it to kill people. And why would you even put her in an oven? That is considered as cannibalism and arson. We use ovens to cook food like turkey, cakes, and lasagna, not humans. Do you really think it's okay to put your daughter into a blender? You have done cannibalism for the second time. We don't use blenders against people. We usually use blenders for making smoothie, drinks, or milkshake. It is even worse than putting your daughter in an oven. Am I right? And worst of all, you send Dora to hell when she did nothing wrong, and she got hung on the cross which is the mock of Jesus' death, and you'll regret that one day when you die. It offends every Christian around the world, including me since, I am a Christian too, and it breaks my heart. So I say that all of you are guilty, that's all I have to say, Your Honor. Thank you, Johnson. I would like to call Emily up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. What can I say about you guys? You're not even qualified to take care of your daughter. I will not go on to the same reasons, because we already know what her parents did in her seventh punishment day, but the police has done nothing about it. I mean look at her parents, there are nothing but a bad influence, if they claim that her daughter should not commit crimes, then why would they commit murder? Her parents brought this on themselves, no wonder why she became a troublemaker, I guess that she wasn't bad after all, they don't show her any attention. Parents are supposed to help their own child to improve their self, murder will not help your anger issues, it will become worse until now. Like why do you hate your daughter so much? She's only a child that deserves to live in this world, it's getting me furious where the point I would yell and scream. I hope you terrible people would be sentenced to life in prison or be executed, so all of you are guilty, that's all I have to say your honor. Thank you Emily, last but not least. Kalu Foster's dad, come up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. I just don't know why, what's with these type of people or parents, in Go City. Always have to do this to Dora, every single day, it's the same thing over, and over again. I know she tried to have fun like doing something cool, explore over the world, experiment with something, help out others. And tried to be herself, she didn't deserve to be grounded every freaking time. Each time the time she get grounded, just gets longer, and longer. You know she can't grow up and be a bad person, that she doesn't want to be, she's a good girl, and I'm adopting this child too. You will lose custody to your child, and never see your daughter again. Me and my wife will always love Dora just the way that she is. But hey, she's more than welcome to stay at my home, 
Me and my wife are the best option to take care of this child, Go City will never change, sooner, she'll get her normal life back, not seeing you child abusers grounding your daughter all the time, so listen up, and listen good if you really want to know. Dora has been suffering for the past several years, day and night, being grounded over minor mistakes, for everything that she does. She tries to teach kids how to speak Spanish, explore in all place, save the world and have fun, but you kept her from doing that. She can't beat the person that she wants to be, when you give her punishment days 24-7, at this time, she is living with me from now on, that goes for boots. That way she can get her normal lives back, not watching her being grounded all the time, I say all of you criminals are guilty, that's all I have to say your honor. Thank you, alright, how does the jury and everyone plead? Guilty. Elena, Cole, and Soldad Marquez, it looks like you are all guilty, and for child abuse, attempt of murder against the police, murder, assault, arson, child neglect, kidnapping, cannibalism, giving her punishment days 24-7, and almost about to give your daughter an 8th punishment day, not only that you're all sentenced to execution, but considering your high criminal records, you are hereby put on. Punishment Day, bro. No, you can't be serious. You can't do this to us. Yeah, we don't want to die. We have so much to live for. Please just give us one more chance, this not fair, Wah. Shut up, too bad, I don't care, if you free hadn't been giving your daughter punishment days over the years, things would not have come to this. Anyways, before I dismiss the case, I have a little gift that is going to tell us about the punishment day row in Mexico City, and here he comes now. Ha 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 ha, did somebody mention punishment days? Oh, your timing couldn't have been more perfect. Who the hell is that thing? I'm not sure, but he looks like one of those masked killers. I agree with Caillou. In fact, he looks like he's half human, and half phantom. I have no idea what that thing is, but his mask kind of scares me, and he looks someone from hell. I don't know Diego. Maybe despite his spooky appearance, he could actually be friendly. Oh. My apologies citizens of Mexico, allow me to introduce Mexico's newest ally, the Phantom of Death. He used to be a vigilante of Go City, offend, hunting the worst people in Go City, or child abusers, and slaughtering them. And rather than executing him, we decide to make him our allies, as we seem to have the same enemies. He's right, and fear not citizens of Mexico City, do not let my spooky appearance frighten all of you. What the boy said was right, despise my spooky and devilish looks, I'm actually on the same side as all of you are. Oh. Well that's a relief. Good to know he only hunts bad people. I agree, though. There's just something familiar about that guy, I just can't put my finger on it. Still though. He actually does look a little scary. I agree Boots. His mask sort of gives me the creeps. You four sinners, on the other hand. You four been nothing but a thorn on my side. You caused too many child abusing against your daughter, and you all have no remorse for your actions. You're all a bunch of sinning monsters. And you're also a danger towards your daughter, was thrilled. When I heard you three are now on the punishment day row, and I'm going to tell you what that means. It means, that child abusers like you, that gives your children punishment day 24, 7, or even never give her any freedom. You will all be put on my punishment day show. This is your punishment day. Punishment Day Show, where whatever parents has been put on Punishment Day Row, gets to face a fate worse than death. The rules of the game are simple. There are many ways the sinner will die, but only four on screen will be shown on screen, in which one of the four execution dimension has been voted the most by the audience, will be shot off by the cannon into the dimension, and get executed. Looks like we have our vote.
Now let's show an example in 3, 2, 1. Launch the cannon. They're dead. Ouch! That's got a hurt. Where are we? Where? Hey! Who are those creepy looking zombies over there? Who are you? And what are you doing in Pallet Town? My name is Boris. And right next to me is my wife Doris. I came from Mexico. And we got shot here by a cannon. By our own son and the entire town's folk. And we both looked like an ex. Because me and my wife got a punishment day by my son and the town's folk back in Mexico. And one of our punishments was insulting us. And this one caused us to look like this. Wait a minute. Did you say that your name was Boris and Doris? Yes. Oh my god. It is you Boris and Doris who gave your son a punishment day on his birthday back in 2022 and now 2023 so that means I will kill you with my sea power with what's 1,000 give a bolt. Pikachu is my partner that will kill you. Since you're a child abuser in Go City and abuse your son 24-7 and including sending him into the Mario world and you're getting the attack of Saint Cypher like your son did. I heard that the Professor Oak doesn't even tolerate child abusers people like you and Pat Tone. Yeah, I hope this will teach you child abusers a lesson for sending him into Mario World and getting him killed. Brock is right. You child abusers are done. You will no longer abuse your son ever again. See you in hell. Alright, Pikachu. Are you ready for this power? Let's get started. Time to get what your child abusers deserve. <laughs> Congrats, Pikachu. You thank you for killing those child abusers. They got what they deserve for sending their son to the Mario world on the cannon. I know, right? Ash, good job. You and Pikachu were amazing with the Z power moves. I will contact Mexico, telling that the child abusers are dead and we killed them. That's a great idea, Misty. Let's celebrate your death and party. Yes. Ding dong, folks. The witch is dead. That's how we do it, folks. Thank you and good night. Wow. Will someone remind us to never go back to being a child abuser again? No. We can't go on that show. We don't want to die. This is not fair. Please take us off the punishment day row. And we promise that we'll be better people by tomorrow. Even Absolutely next not. Life is not always fair. And you three need to understand that this is a decision made not only by the court system, but also by the Grim Reapers. As I mentioned in the video if the decision of the Grim Reapers is not negotiable and cannot be overturned. I agree with everything the Phantom has said. You are all sentenced to the death penalty and put on the punishment day row. Which means, you are all getting punishment day by every townsfolk including your daughter and because she suffered torture for her whole life. She gets to decide how many worse punishment you will be getting. Once your consequences is done, you'll be executed in the cannon. Wow. Do I really decide? Why of course you do. You can make them suffer. The way they made you suffer from over the past years. You can decide however you want. After all, Kael was the first one to do it against his parents. And it will happen to everyone if they done punishment days against their kids. The more parents don't let their kids have freedom or child abuse every day. The more exciting that the victim will decide. That's the reason why we call it punishment day row. Oh. You don't say. Now this is interesting, it's decided. I'll get what my parents deserve. Now that's the spirit. 
The punishment day row will begin in three days. Don't be late. God dismissed. <laughs> Take us off the punishment day, go take us off the punishment day, go take us off the punishment day, go take us off the punishment day, go. Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez. What the actual hell is wrong with all of you? I can't believe you're all kicking and screaming on the floor like three year olds. I know that nobody wants to be sentenced to the death penalty. But there's nothing much that can be done to change it. So, get up now. No. We are not throwing tantrums or acting childish. We are just upset that we are going to die, and now we are on the punishment arrow. You know what? I'm not dealing with this anymore. I need to get home and get back to prison to monitor you three hey. officers. Can you help me take these three lowlif cows to their cell until their punishment date begins? With pleasure. The lead of Dora's parents are no more. Oh my god, Caillou. You're a hero. I am. Yes. I mean, if you hadn't thought of that punishment day idea in the first place, then Dora's parents probably wouldn't have gotten arrested and charged for their crime. I agree with your foster father. You even managed to bring almost every citizen from from this city to this court hearing, so chances are, you might have changed the world. I did. I guess I did. But I didn't do that goal thing alone. I would like to like to thank my wonderful new family and my new friends who helped me make it possible. Boot the monkey. Diego Marquez. Tay Marquez. Dora Marquez. My new foster mom. My new foster dad. My new friends at school. And of course, everyone in Mexico City turns votes. Free cheers for them and me. All right, all right, that's enough. Court dismiss. You can all go home now. I sometimes get the feeling that the people of Mexico City are crazy. Well, that was one crazy case. Anyways, the trial of Elena, Cole, and Soledad Marquez are now over. Netflix has announced about the new show streaming called The Punishment Day Rao. It's a show that if any parents have caused child abusing or punishment days 24-7 against their child, the child has to decide how many punishments they will have. And once the punishment days are done, they'll immediately get executed by the cannon and get sentenced to another world in the dimension. If folks wants to join and help out, then they would have to sign in, and the show is rated R, only adults can watch it, just to give the parents some heads up. Well, that's all that we got from today's news. Stay tuned for more GNN Mexico news. Welcome to your new home, Dora. Make yourself at home. Thank you very much, guys. Now me and my friends can hang out as long as we want. You're very welcome, Dora. Kayla. Why don't you give your friends a new tour at the house? Me and my husband will be cooking some food. Once our supper is done, you can go write down some ideas for your payback and revenge for your parents. Kayla will show you to your room. The Mexico army will be getting all of your stuff in about an hour. In the meantime, you don't have to worry about your parents. There's some new stuff that I would like to show you, so follow me if you want to find out for yourself. All right, lead the way. Wow! Our new room is so beautiful, for month. I thought I was never going to see you again, but you were safe this whole entire time. Well, here we are, at last reunited. I see you brought your friend along too. Yeah! 
I just couldn't leave my friend behind. Fair point. By the way, look at all of the console and games I have gotten. Wow. This is paradise. You even got the new PS5. Where did you get all of these stuff from? I bet that all the stuff you had bought was so expensive. I spent on all of my parents' money on these consoles for my payback. Serves them right for burning my stuff all the time and not letting me have freedom. Ha 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 ha. You tell them, we can go use with these consoles and never be bored ever again. By in two days, I will get my parents' karma. I know right. And can I join to help out with your parents' punishment day? And me too. Of course you can. You're my friends after all, we stick together. Thanks Dora. I can't wait to help you out with the punishment day when your parents are dead. We can go celebrate at a restaurant. That is a great idea. Kids, dinner is ready. Please come downstairs. After all of that helicopter trip and my parents' trial, I'm starting to get hungry.